Now you're working with one of the world's biggest banks on a Sybase to Atlas migration. It sounds like a, a knotty challenge. I know like Sybase applications, they can be not very well documented, a lot of complex dependencies. How is that process going? Why would somebody choose MongoDB over just a relational database? Talk to me a little bit about the, the thinking and the process you're going through with your client here. As an organization, the enterprise decision was, we would like to go to NoSQL which is much more scalable because for them performance and scalability was an important factor. We also had a discussion with the client saying that, okay, what are the pros and cons of using a NoSQL versus SQL in terms of scalability, reliability, and performance? That's when MongoDB was picked, number one. Number two, in a large enterprise, when they're trying to do this migration, they will not do it just because I said it or you said it. They want to see whether it works. They said, can you do a proof of concept and show it to us all my challenges are addressed. When I say challenges, data security, compliance, authentication, authorization, my business logic is not impacted. How do you decouple the business logic which is there in the store procedures, which we haven't been able to crack it? Will you be able to crack it? And is there an angle of generative AI that we can bring in to solve the store procedure problem? Can it parse and understand the logic and write an alternative code which I can add it to the application layer so that my data layer becomes nimble and lighter and application layer owns the logic now. So easy to migrate the data and application is also nimble and faster and high performance, right? So that's how we decided to go with this proof of concept, which is high stakes. If you ask me, like, it's a high stake proof of concept. If we are able to prove it, it opens doors for thousands of applications that are sitting. They want to do a big bang migration. Yeah. And it's it's a large opportunity for both Accenture yeah. and MongoDB. And these are very mission critical applications as well, Mission critical It's not some low hanging fruit, right? Yeah, absolutely. These are post trade yeah. applications. What, what we are trying to touch here are post trade applications, which the criticality is so high, if we go wrong, it can impact their whole business area, right? That's why they want to ensure we prove every aspect of their questions before they even decide on the big bang migration. Can I ask, sorry, can I ask what you mean by post-trade applications? Are you talking settlements or? Both settlements and the markets. Okay. Both. Okay, got it. So if you ask me why MongoDB, why not any other DB or any other NoSQL platform, it's not a, like a database of persistence layer. It's a platform. It comes with embedded features like a search analytics and different uh, data modeling uh, options that uh, you can actually use in one single unified platform. So you don't have to secure a license for another niche technology like a search or something. So it saves a lot of cost in the long run. And right now we have more than 5,000 customers, financial service customers using MongoDB to underpin the uh, number of their workloads, including a mission critical or business critical apps. Within Accenture, we have worked closely with Mongo for our entertainment client, where we have modernized around 200 to 225 legacy applications, which were on mainframes, mm -hmm. completely modernized and migrated to Mongo. That was a big success for our data practice within Accenture, right? So that actually gave us the confidence to go and talk to this client and say, hey, let's explore what we can do here. Sybase is a great piece of software uh, that has been worked well for uh, so many years and there's still a lot of uh, firms use the Sybase. It's a very stable platform, there are no issues, nothing. But on the other side, every organization is trying to modernize their platforms for a number of reasons, to have a competitive advantage and also like a number of these uh, fintechs kind of uh, entirely disrupting this uh, whole uh, technology ecosystem, right? Suddenly, if you see all these banks are trying to become a, <laughs> a, a fintech companies, right? There's a, a stampede, there's a, there's a competition there. So uh, platforms like a Sybase, they're, they're good in what they, what they were designed for, stability and all that, but they're not really good when it comes to interoperability and working with these uh, AIML platforms.